Hello, and welcome to ISC, an overview, brought to you by Docurific. Internet Relay Chat IRC is a text-based chat system for instant messaging. IRC is designed for group communication in discussion forums, called channels, but also allows one-on-one -on -one communication via private messages as well as chat and data transfer, including file sharing. Internet Relay Chat is implemented as an application layer protocol to facilitate communication in the form of text. The chat process works on the client server networking model. Users connect using a client, which may be a web app, a standalone desktop program, or embedded into part of a larger program to an IRC server, which may be part of a larger IRC network. Examples of programs used to connect include Mibit, Urkelode, QWERC, and MIRC. IRC usage has been declining steadily since 2003, losing 60% of its users. In April 2011, the top 100 IRC networks served more than half a million users at a time. History IRC was created by Yako Okrenen in August 1988 to replace a program called MUT Maltese, a talk on a BBS called All Box at the University of Orlo in Finland, where he was working at the Department of Information Processing Science. Yako intended to extend the BBS software he administered to allow news in the Usenet style, real-time discussions and similar BBS features. The first part he implemented was the chat part, which he did with borrowed parts written by his friends Gioki Kupla and Jacob Hill. The first RC network was running on a single server, named Tulsanolifi. Alcranen found inspiration in a chat system known as Bitnet Relay, which operated on the Bitnet Gioki Kupla pushed Alcranen to ask all the university to free the IRC code so that it also could be run outside of Orlo and after they finally got it released, Jirki Kupla immediately installed another server. This was the first IRC network. Arquinen got some friends at the Helsinki University and Tampa University to start running IRC servers when his number of users increased and other universities soon followed. At this time Arquinen realized that the rest of the BBS features probably wouldn't fit in his program. Arquinen got in touch with people at the University of Denver and Oregon State University. They had their own IRC network running and wanted to connect to the Finnish network. They had obtained the program from one of Arquinen's friends, by Subramanian, the first non-Finnish person to use IRC. IRC then grew larger and got used on the entire Finnish national network Funiton then connected to Nordinet, the Scandinavian branch of the internet. In November 1988, IRC had spread across the internet and in the middle of 1989, there were some 40 servers worldwide. Afnet in August 1990, the first major disagreement took place in the IRC world. The net anarchy net included a server named Eris Berklaiju. It was all open, required no passwords and had no limit on the number of connects. As Greg Wampus Lindell explains, it had a wildcard server line, so people were hulking up servers and net colliding everyone. The Eris free network, Fnet made the errors machine the first to be queue-lined queue for quarantine from IRC. In Wampus Woods again, errors refused to remove that line, so I formed Fnet. It wasn't much of a fight, I got all the hubs to join, and almost everyone else got carried along. A net was formed with the air servers, while Fnet was formed with the non-air servers. History showed most servers and users went with Fnet. Once a net disbanded, the name Fnet became meaningless, and once again it was the one and only IRC network around that time. IRC was used to report on the 1991 Soviet coup that attempt throughout a media blackout. It was previously used in a similar fashion during the Gulf War. Chat logs of these and other events are kept in a biblio archive.
hundred fork. Another fork effort, the first that made a lasting difference, was initiated by Will Thang in the United States in October 1992. It forked off the Ethernet Dirt version. It was meant to be just a test network to develop bots on, but it quickly grew the network for friends and their friends. In Europe and Canada, a separate new network was being worked on, and in December, the French service connected to the Canadian ones, and by the end of the month, the French and Canadian network was connected to the US one, forming the network that later came to be called the Undernetel. Undernetters wanted to take her further in an attempt to make it use less bandwidth and to try to sort out the channel chaos net splits and takeovers that Ethnet started to suffer from. For the latter purpose, the Undernet implemented timestamps, new routing and offered the service a program that allowed users to register channels and then attempted to protect them from troublemakers. The first server of this presented, from 14 February 1993, includes servers from the US, Canada, France, Croatia and Japan. On 15 August, the new user count record was set to 57 users in May 1993. RFC 1459 was published and details a simple protocol for cleanse of our operation channels, one-to-one -one and one-to-many conversations. It is notable that a significant number of extensions like CTCP, colors and formats are not included in the protocol specifications, nor is character encoding, which led various implementations of servers and clients to diverge. Software implementation varied significantly from one network to the other, each network implementing their own policies and standards in their own code bases. Down at Fork During the summer of 1994, the Undernet was itself forked. The new network was called Downnet named after its founder, Dalvanger, formed for better user service and more user and channel protections. One of the more significant changes in Downnet was use of longer nicknames, the original ERT limit being nine letters. Downnet ERT modifications were made by Alexei Leflekose. Downnet was thus based on the Undernet ERC server, although the Downnet pioneers were Fnet abandoners. According to James Eng, the initial Downnet people were ops in a store trek sick from the constant splits of lags takeover sets. Downnet quickly offered global wallops ERC up messages that can be seen by users who are W mode nickname W, longer nicknames, client nicknames, nicknames that cannot be used i.e. chance of ERC up, nicks of, etc. Global clients ban of one person or an entire domain from a server or the entire network. ERCUP only communications, globops, each mode showing that an ERCUP is a helpup, etc. Much of Downnet's new functions were written in early 1995 by Brian Morpher Smith and allow users to own nicknames, control channels, send memos, and more. Burnet Fork. In July 1996, after months of flame wars and discussions on the mailing list, there was yet another split due to disagreement in how the development of the ERP should evolve. Most notably, the European most of those servers were in Europe's side that later named itself Burnet argued for NIC and channel delays whereas the Ethnet side argued for timestamps. There were also disagreements about policies, the European side had started to establish a set of rules directing what ERCOPS could and could not do, a point of view posed by the US Simus not all of the Ernet servers were in Europe, while most of the Ethnet servers were in the US. This event is also known as the Great Split in many RC societies. Ethnet has since as of August 1998 grown and passed the number of users it had then. In the northern autumn of the year 2000, Fnet had some 50,000 users and earned at 70,000. Modern IRC IRC has changed much over its life on the internet. 
New server software has added a multitude of new features. Services Network operated bots to facilitate registration of nicknames and channels, sending messages for offline users and network operator functions. Extra modes While the original IRC system used a set of standard user and channel modes, new servers add many new modes for features such as removing color codes from text or obscuring a user's host mask looking to protect from denial of service attacks. Proxy detection Most modern servers support detection of users attempting to connect through an insecure misconfigured or exploited proxy server, which can then be denied a connection. This proxy detection software is used by several networks, although that real-time list of proxies is defunct since early 2006. Additional commands New commands can be such things as shorthand commands to issue commands to services, to network operator only commands to manipulate a user's host mask. Encryption For the client a server leg of the connection TLS might be used messages cease to be secure once they are relayed to other users on standard connections, but it makes eavesdropping on or wiretapping an individual's IRC sessions difficult. For client-client communication, STCC Secure DCC can be used. Connection Protocol IRC can be connected to VIPF, the old version of the Internet Protocol, or BIPF. The current standard of the protocol is of 2016, a new standardization effort is underway under a working group called IGF, which focuses on more advanced client features like instant notifications, better history support, and improved security. As of 2019, no major IRC networks have fully adopted the proposed standard as of June 2021. There are 481 different IRC networks known to be operating, of which the open source library chat, founded in May 2021, has the most users, with 20,374 channels on 26 servers between them. The top 100 IRC networks share over 100,000 channels operating on about 1,000 server shifter. It's called an error during the errors and early as 240,000 users on Quakenet in 2004. IRC has seen a significant decline, losing around 60% of users between 2003 and 2012, with users moving to newer social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter but also to open platforms like XMPP which was developed in 1999. Certain networks like Freenode have not followed the overall trend and have more than quadrupled in size during the same period. However, Freenode, which in 2016 had around 90,000 users, has since declined to about 9,000. 300 users largest IRC networks have traditionally been grouped as the Big Four designation for networks that top the statistics. The Big Four networks change periodically, but due to the community nature of IRC there are a large number of other networks for users to choose from. Historically the Big Four were Ethnet, Ironet, and Anet. Dial Network reached 6 million simultaneous users in 2001 and 10 million users in 2003, dropping to ERC in as of January 2022. The largest IRC networks are Labra Chat around ERC users at peak hours, OFTC around ERC users at peak hours, Ernet around ERC users at peak hours, Andernet around ERC users at peak hours. Ryzen around Oak users at peak hours. Ethnet around Oak users at peak hours. Freenode around Oak users at peak hours. Quakenet around Oak users at peak hours. Dalnet around Oak users at peak hours. Top 100 IRC networks have around Oak users connected at peak hours. Timeline Timeline of major servers Afnet 1990 to present Anjana 1992 to present Dalnet 1994 to present Freenode 1995 to present 
Quernet, 1996 to present. Quakenet, 1997 to present. Open and Free Technology Community, 2001 to present. Ryzen, 2002 to present. Libra Chat, 2021 to present. Technical Information IRC is an open protocol that uses TCP and, optionally, TLS. An IRC server can connect to other IRC servers to expand the IRC network. Users access IRC networks by connecting a client to server. There are many client implementations, such as Merck, Hexjet and RC, and server implementations, e.g. the original OFT. Most IRC servers do not require users to register an account but a nickname is required before being connected. Duck was originally a plain text protocol although later extended, which on request was assigned port at by INA. However, the de facto standard has always been to run IRC on ERTS and nearby port numbers, for example TCP port 7000 to avoid having to run the ERC software with root privileges. The protocol specified that characters were 8-bit but did not specify the character encoding the text was supposed to use. This can cause problems when users using different clients under different platforms want to converse. All client or server IRC protocols in use today are descended from the protocol implemented in the ERC version of the ERC server and documented in RSC 1459. Since RSC 1459 was published, the new features in the ERC implementation led to the publication of several revised protocol documents RSC 2810, RSC 2811, RSC 2812 and RSC 2813. However, these protocol changes have not been widely adopted among other implementations shall for many specifications on the IRC protocol have been published. There is no official specification as the protocol remains dynamic. Virtually no clients and very few servers rely strictly on the above us as a reference see Microsoft made an extension for IRC in 1998 via the proprietary IRCX. They later stopped distributing software supporting IRCX, instead developing the proprietary MSNP. The standard structure of a network of IRC servers is a tree. Messages are routed along any necessary branches of the tree but network state is sent to every server and there is generally a high degree of implicit trust between servers. However, this architecture has a number of problems. A misbehaving or malicious server can cause major damage to the network and any changes in structure, whether intentional or a result of conditions on the underlying network, require a net split and net join. This results in a lot of network traffic and spurious quit join messages to users and temporary loss of communication to users on the splitting servers. Adding a server to a large network means a large background bandwidth load on the network and a large memory load on the server. Once established, however, each message to multiple recipients is delivered in a fashion similar to multicast meaning each message travels a network link exactly once. This is a strength in comparison to non-multicasting protocols such as simple mail transfer protocol SMTP or extensible messaging and presence protocol XMPP. An IRC daemon can also be used on a local area network LAN. IRC can thus be used to facilitate communication between people within the local area network internal communication. Commands and replies. IRC is a line-based structure. Clients send single line messages to the server, receive replies to those messages and receive copies of some messages sent by other clients. In most clients, users can enter commands by prefixing them with a Depending on the command, these may either be handled entirely by the client or generally for commands the client does not recognize pass directly to the server, possibly with some modification due to the nature of the protocol, 
automated systems cannot always correctly pair sent command with its reply with full reliability and are subject guessing. Channels The basic means of communicating to a group of users in an established RC session is through a channel. Channels on a network can be displayed using the IRC command LIST, which lists all currently available channels that do not have the modes S or P set on that particular network. Users can join a channel using the JOIN command, in most clients available as join channel num. Messages sent to the join channels are then relayed to all other user channels that are available across entire IRC network or prefix with a while those local to server use. Other less common channel types include channels modulus channels without operator shunt. Channels, a form of timestamp channel on normally non-timestamp networks. Modes. Users and channels may have modes that are represented by individual case-sensitive letters and are set using the MOD command. User modes and channel modes are separate and can use the same letter to mean different things e.g. user mode I is invisible mode while channel mode I is invite only. Modes are usually set and unset using the mode command that takes a target user or channel, a set of modes to set or unset and any parameters the modes need. Some channel modes take parameters and other channel modes apply to a user on a channel or add or remove a mask e.g. ban mask from a list associated with the channel rather than applying to the channel as a whole. Modes that apply to users on a channel have an associated symbol that is used to represent the mode in names replies sent to clients on first joining a channel and use of the names command and in many clients also used to represent it in the client's displayed list of users in their channel or to display a known indicator for a user's modes. In order to correctly pass incoming mode messages and track channel state the client must know which mode is of which type and for the modes that apply to a user on a channel which symbol goes with which letter. In early implementations of IRC this had to be hard coded in the client but there is now a de facto standard extension to the protocol called ISUPPORT that sends this information to the client at connect time using numeric earth is a small design fault in IRC regarding modes that applied to users on channels. The name's message used to establish initial channel state can only send one such mode per user on the channel but multiple such modes can be set on a single user. For example, if the user holds both operator status O and voice status V on a channel, a new client will be unable to see the mode with less priority i.e. voice. Walkarounds for this are possible on both the client and server side but none are widely implemented. Standard RSC 1459 modes. Many daemons and networks have added extra modes or modified the behavior of modes in the above list. Channel operators. A channel operator is a client on an IRC channel that manages the channel. IRC channel operators can be easily seen by their symbol or icon next to their name varies by client implementation, commonly a symbol prefix, a green circle, or a Latin letter O. On most networks, an operator can kick a user, then a user, give another user IRC channel operator status or IRC channel voice status, change the IRC channel topic while channel mode is set. Change the IRC channel mode locks. IRC operators. There are also users who maintain elevated rights on their local server or the entire network. These are called IRC operators, sometimes shortened to ERCOPS or OPUS, not to be confused with channel operators. As the implementation of the ERPT varies, 
so do the privileges of the ISC operator on a given errand. RSC 1459 claims that ISC operators are a necessary evil to keep a clean state of the network, and as such they need to be able to disconnect and reconnect servers. Initially, to prevent malicious users or even harmful automated programs from entering IRC, IRC operators are usually allowed to disconnect clients and completely ban IP addresses or complete subnets. Networks that carry services next to Vettel usually allow their IRC operators also to handle basic ownership matters. Further privileged rights may include overriding channel bans, being able to join channels they would not be allowed to join if they were not opted, being able to opt themselves on channels where they would not be able without being opted, being auto opt on channels always and so forth. Horse masks. A horse mask is a unique identifier of an IRC client connected to an IRC server. IRC servers, services, and other clients, including bots, can use it to identify a specific IRC session. The format of a host mask is Nick user host. The host mask looks similar to, but should not be confused with an email address. The Nick part is the nickname chosen by the user and may be changed while connected. The user part is the username reported by ident on the client. If ident is not available on the client, the username specified when the client connected is used after being prefixed with the tilde host part is the hostname the client is connecting from. If the IP address of the client cannot be resolved to valid hostname by the server, it is used instead of the hostname. Because of the privacy implications of exposing the IP address or hostname of a client, some IRC daemons also provide privacy features, such as inspect or unrelict X mode. This hashes a client IP address or masks part of a client's hostname, making it unreadable to users other than ERCOPs. Users may also have the option of requesting a virtual host or host to be displayed in the host mask to allow further anonymity. Some IRC networks, such as Libra Chat or Freenode, use these as cloaks to indicate that a user is affiliated with a group or project. You are a scheme. There are three provisional recognized uniform resource identifier You are I schemes for Internet Relay Chat, ERC, ERCs, and ERC. When supported, they allow hyperlinks of various forms, including a host porter channel channel keyword, a host porter channel channel keyword, a host porter channel channel keyword where items enclosed within brackets are optional to be used to if necessary connect to the specified host or network if known to the IRC client and join the specified channel. This can be used within the client itself or from another application such as a web browser. ERC is the default URI. ERC specifies the connection to be made using it and ERC specifies a secure connection. Per the specification, the usual hash symbol will be prepended to channel names that begin with an alphanumeric or actually it to be omitted. Some implementations, for example, Merck will do so unconditionally resulting in a usually unintended extra, for example, channel, if included in the URL. Some implementations allow multiple channels to be specified, separated by commas. Challenges Issues in the original design of IRC with the amount of shared state data being a limitation on its scalability, the absence of unique user identifications leading to the nickname collision problem, lack of protection from net splits by means of cyclic routing, the trade-off in scalability for the sake of real-time user presence information, protocol weaknesses providing a platform for abuse, no transparent and optimizable message passing, and no encryption. Some of these issues have been addressed in modern IRC.
DAX. Because IRC connections may be unencrypted and typically span long time periods, they are an attractive target for DOS DOS attackers and hackers. Because of this, careful security policy is necessary to ensure that an IRC network is not susceptible to an attack such as a takeover war. IRC networks may also K-line or G-line users or servers that have a harming effect. Some IRC servers support its connections for security purposes. This helps stop the user packet sniffer programs to obtain the passwords of IRC users, but has little use beyond this scope due to the public nature of IRC channels. SSL connections require both client and server support that may require the user to install SSL binaries and IRC client-specific patches or modules on their computers. Some networks also use SSL for server-to-server -server connections and provide a special channel flag such as S to only allow SSL connected users on the channel, while disallowing operator identification in clear text to better utilize the advantages that SSL provider CERC served as an early laboratory for many kinds of internet attacks, such as using fake ICMP unreachable messages to break TCP-based IRC connections nuking to annoy users or facilitate takeovers. Adduce Prevention one of the most contentious technical issues surrounding IRC implementations, which survives to this day, is the merit of net channel delay versus timestamp protocols. Both methods exist to solve the problem of denial of service attacks, but take very different approaches. The problem with the original IRC protocol as implemented was that when two servers split and rejoined, the two sides of the network would simply merge the channels. If a user could join on a split server, where a channel that existed on the other side of the network was empty, and gain operator status, they would become a channel operator of the combined channel after the net split ended. If a user took a nickname that existed on the other side of the network, the server would kill both users when rejoining a nick collision. This was often abused to mass kill all users on the channel thus creating opless channels where no operators were present to deal with abuse. Apart from causing problems with an IRC, this encouraged people to conduct denial-of-service attacks against IRC servers in order to cause net splits, which they would then abuse. The NIC Delay ND and Channel Delay CD strategies aim to prevent abuse by delaying reconnections and renums. After a user signs off and the nickname becomes available, or a channel ceases to exist because all its users parted as often happens during a netflix, the server will not allow any user to use that nickname or join that channel until a certain period of time the delay has passed. The idea behind this is that even if a net split occurs, it is useless to an abuser because they cannot take the nickname or gain operator status on a channel, and thus no collision of a nickname or merging of a channel can occur. To some extent, this inconveniences legitimate users, who might be forced to briefly use a different name after rejoining our pending and underscore is popular. The timestamp protocol is an alternative to NIC channel delays which results collisions using timestamp priority. Every nickname and channel on the network is assigned to timestamp the date and time when it was created. When a net but occurs, two users on each side are free to use the same nickname or channel, but when the two sides are joined, only one can survive. In the case of nicknames, the newer user, according to their TS, is killed. When a channel collides, the members' users on the channel are merged, but the channel operators on the losing side of the split lose their channel operator status. TS is a much more complicated protocol than NICT, both in design and implementation, and despite having gone through several revisions, some implementations still have problems with desyncs where two servers on the same network disagree about the current state of the network, and allowing too much leniency in what was allowed by the losing side. Under the original TS protocols, for example, 
there was no protection against users setting bounds or other modes in the losing channel that would then be merged when the split rejoined, even though the users who had set those modes lost their channel operator status. Some modern TS-based RC servers have also incorporated some form of ND and CD in addition to time stamping in an attempt to further curb abuse. Most networks today use the time stamping approach. The timestamp versus NIC disagreements caused several servers to split away from Ethnet and form the newer Ernet. After the split, Ethnet moved to a TS protocol, while Ernet used NIC. In the recent versions of the Ernet ERCT, as well as ERCT using its protocol including CherryDIS, ND has been extended droplets by a mechanism called SAVE. This mechanism assigns every client a UID upon connecting to an IRC server. This ID starts with a number, which is forbidden in NICs although some ERCs, namely Ernet and then Spurt, allow clients to switch to their own UID as the nickname. If two clients with the same nickname join from different sides of a net that NIC collision, the first server to see this collision will force both clients to change their NIC to their UID, thus saving both clients from being disconnected. On Ernet, the nickname will also be locked for some time and to prevent both clients from changing back to the original nickname, thus colliding again. Clients Client software Client software exists for various operating systems or software packages, as well as web-based or inside games. Many different clients are available for the various operating systems, including Windows, Unix and Linux, Mac OS and mobile operating systems such as EOS and Android. On Windows, Merck is one of the most popular clients own programs which are extensible through plugins also serve as platforms for IRC clients. For instance, a client called ERC, written entirely in Emacs Lisp, is included in the Vmacs. Therefore, any platform that can run Emacs can run ERC. A number of web browsers have built in IRC clients such as Opera version 12.18 and earlier and the chat led on for Mozilla Firefox for Firefox 56 and earlier, included as a built-in component of CMonkey. Web-based clients, such as Mibit and Open Source Kubework, can run in most browsers. Games such as War, Unreal Tournament up to Unreal Tournament 2004, Uplink, Spring Engine-based games, Sir AD and Stoman have included a Custreams chat interface as IRC with custom authentication as well as Twitch formerly Justin. Ports A typical use of ports in IRC is to provide IRC services or specific functionality within a channel such as to host a chat-based game or provide notifications of external events. However, some IRC ports are used to launch malicious attacks such as denial of service, spamming, or exploitation. Answer a program that runs as a daemon on a server and functions as a persistent proxy is known as a BNC or bouncer. The purpose is to maintain a connection to an IRC server, acting as a relay between the server and client, or simply to act as a proxy. Should the client lose network connectivity, the BNC may stay connected and archive all traffic for later delivery allowing the user to resume their IRC session without disrupting their connection to the server. Furthermore, as a way of obtaining a bouncer-like effect, an IRC client typically text-based, for example, SC may be run on an always-on server to which the user connects VS. This also allows devices that only have functionality, but no actual IRC client installed themselves to connect to the IRC, and it allows sharing of IRC sessions to keep the IRC client from quitting when this connection closes.
the client can be run inside a terminal multiplexer such as GNU Screen or Mux, thus staying connected to the IRC networks constantly and able to log conversation in channels that the user is interested in, or to maintain a channel's presence on the network. Modeled after the setup, in 2004 an IRC client following the Clint server, called Smoozy, was launched. Search engines. There are numerous search engines available to aid the user in finding what they are looking for on IRC. Generally the search engine consists of two parts, a back-end or spider crawler and a front-end search engine. The back-end spider web crawler is the workhorse of the search engine. It is responsible for crawling IRC servers to index the information being sent across them. The information that is indexed usually consists solely of channel text text that is publicly displayed in public channels. The storage method is usually some sort of relational database, like MISCL or Oracle. The front end search engine is the user interface to the database. It supplies users with a way to search the database of indexed information to retrieve the data they are looking for. These front-end search engines can also be coded in numerous programming languages. Most search engines have their own spider that is a single application responsible for crawling IRC and indexing data itself, however, others are user-based indexers. The latter rely on users to install their add-on to their IRC client. The add-on is what sends the database the channel information of whatever channels the user happens to be and many users have implemented their own ad hoc search engines using the logging features built into many IRC clients. These search engines are usually implemented as bots and dedicated to a particular channel or group of associated channels. Character encoding. IRC still lacks a single globally accepted standard convention for how to transmit characters outside the 7 bit SCI repertoire. IRC servers normally transfer messages from a client to another client just as byte sequences, without any interpretation or recoding of characters. The IRC protocol, unlike EGM, IME, or HTTP, lacks mechanisms for announcing and negotiating character encoding options. This has put the responsibility for choosing the appropriate character codec on the client. In practice, IRC channels have largely used the same character encodings that were also used by operating systems, in particular Unix derivatives in the respective language communities. 7-bit error in the early days of IRC, especially among Scandinavian and Finnish language users, national variants of ISO 646 were the dominant character encodings. These encode non scii characters like at code positions XXXXXXUSSCII. That is why these codes are always allowed in nicknames. According to RFC 1459, a nickname should be treated as loud case equivalents of respectively. By the late years, the use of 7-bit encodings had disappeared in favor of ISO 8859 and such equivalence mappings were dropped from some IRC daemons. 8-bit error, since the early years, 8-bit encodings such as ISO 8859 have become commonly used for European languages. Russian users had a choice of KOI R, ISO 8859-5 and SP, and since about 2000, modern Russian IRC networks convert between these different commonly used encodings of the Cyrillic script. Multibyte error, for a long time, East Asian IRC channels with logographic scripts in China, Japan, and Korea have been using multibyte encoding such as UC or ISO 2020 to JP. With the common migration from ISO 8859 to UTF-8 on Linux and Unix platforms since about 2002, UTF-8 has become an increasingly popular substitute for many of the previously used 8-bit encodings in European channels. 
Some IRC clients are now capable of reading messages both in ISO 8000, 8591 or UTF-8 in the same channel, heuristically auto-detecting which encoding is used. The shift UTF-8 began in particular on Finnish-speaking IRC Marcus Finnish Ertode, the UTF-8 encoding of Unit DSO 10000, 646 would be the most likely contender for a single future standard character encoding for all IRC communication. If such standard ever relaxed the 510 byte message size restriction, UTF 8 is SCII compatible and covers the superset of all other commonly used coded character set standards. File sharing. Much like conventional file sharing, users can create file servers that allow them to share files with each other by using customized IRC boards or scripts for their IRC client. Often users will group together to distribute WAS via network of IRC bots technically. IRC provides no file transfer mechanisms itself. File sharing is implemented by IRC clients typically using the direct client-to-client -client DCC protocol, in which file transfers are negotiated through the exchange of private messages between clients. The vast majority of IRC clients feature support for DCC file transfers, hence the view that file sharing is an integral feature of IRC. The commonplace usage of this protocol, however, sometimes also causes DCC spam. DCC commands have also been used to exploit vulnerable clients into performing an action such as disconnecting from the server or exiting the client. Citations General Bibliography Read Darn May 1992. A discussion on computer network conferencing. IETF. Toyefk. RFC 1324. Retrieve 30 October 2009. Akronen, Yarko. Read Darn May 1993. Internet Relay Chat Protocol. IETF. Toyefk. RSC 1459. Retrieve 30 October 2009. Colt, Christoph, April 2000. Internet Relay Chat Architecture. IETF. Toriefk. RSC 2810. Retrieve 30 October 2009. Colt, Christoph, April 2000. Internet Relay Chat Channel Management. IETF. Doyefk. RSC 2811. Vutri 30 October 2009. Loesch, Carl 17 July 2003. Functionality provided by systems for synchronous conferencing. SKU. Vutri 10 April 2011. Site Journal. Site Journal requires journal help. Thank you for watching our video on ISC brought to you by Decurific. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.